Hello, my name's Calvin Chapman, and today we're going to talk about the Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton alleged interference by the Russians during the election in November 2016 in the United States. So a bit of history for those that have lived under a rock throughout 2016 and 17. Donald Trump was never going to win the general election in the United States in 2016. In fact, on the day of the election, um, people at HuffPost had put out statistics that Hillary Clinton had a 96% chance of success and Donald Trump had a 3% chance of success, give or take uh, the point whatever in that 1%. And as we know, uh, Donald Trump not only won, but he won convincingly, though he substantially lost the popular vote. What I find very odd and very strange about the 2016 election um, is the media, the media absolutely was on Hillary Clinton's side but throughout all of it they were only reporting what Donald Trump was saying and what the media didn't realize was the more biased they became the more obvious their bias was and they believed that they were doing what they've always done which is to manipulate what people think but in fact most people were watching the election and they were seeing bias that was unfathomable in any other election. People watching uh, journalists absolutely wreck their ethics and the way that Donald Trump was talked about was astonishing. And the media throughout all of this believed that they were absolutely trouncing any chance that Donald Trump had of winning. But what they didn't realize was people were actually listening to what Donald Trump said, which was the media is dirty, the media is biased, and the media will only report what the media wants you to hear rather than the full story. And people were listening to Donald Trump say that on the one hand, and then the media put out the most biased awful reporting imaginable and and the media believed that that would win the day and it didn't it couldn't have done because people genuinely believed what donald trump was saying which is the media bias and the media bias shone through and as donald trump got more and more popular they reported literally every word he said and instead of that media bias translating over into a win for Hillary, it was in fact ticking over into more and more people believing what Donald Trump was saying, whether it was true or not. That's, that's not the main thing that I want to talk about today. What, what many people don't realise is there was actually a mirror in the Clinton-Trump campaign as there had been a few years ago involving Bill Clinton and it surprises me that so few people have brought this up but in the first year that Bill Clinton was in the presidency in the White House when Hillary Clinton was screaming abuse at anybody that would go within 10 feet of her because she was a nasty horrible bitch according to most people that worked in that White House. What people forget is that there was an allegation of um, the Chinese interfering in the general election and trying to force the candidate of their choice which in that case was Bill Clinton and Bill Clinton won the election. And what happened in that first year was a large number of recordings from the FBI came out because the FBI had been recording individuals that they believe were spying for the Chinese state 
And in those recordings, they happen to catch things that were being said by the Clinton camp because these individuals that were alleged to be uh, dealing with spies from China, they were being recorded, but other people were being recorded with it. Now, does that sound familiar? Because that's exactly the arguments that came out with the Clinton campaign in 2016, which was the FBI were recording people and whilst they were recording them, assuming that they were dealing with Russian spies, they happened to overhear things being said by the Trump campaign. And they are, if you go back and have a look at the original um, Clinton dealing in the first year of the Clinton um, presidency, if you go back and look at what the FBI was saying, it's an almost mirror image with what has been said about the Trump campaign, which is people being recorded and people overhearing somebody else, and that's something else opening up an investigation. And what what really surprises me is there are some really odd moments in the election that should make you stop and think, why is it that Louise Mensch was able to know so many things about the FBI investigation into the alleged Russian uh, connivance in the election. Louise Mensch used to be a British politician. She was a conservative. She was in the Tory party. And she left for whatever reason after two years of being an MP. And she moved over with her husband to the United States, her husband being an American. Towards the end of the election, WikiLeaks released a load of emails from within the Clinton campaign. And one of those emails was an email from the former Conservative MP, British politician, Louise Mensch, to the Democrat, the left side um, presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton, saying, I absolutely love you. If you want me to do things for your campaign, I will. Why was a conservative British journalist slash former politician, why was she contacting the left and saying that she was in love with the candidate and would do anything that was asked of her? That was really bizarre. And then Louise just became unhinged and the things she was putting out on Twitter were more and more odd and strange but one of the things that she was obsessing about towards the end of the campaign was that a Pfizer warrant had been issued against the Trump campaign. Now a Pfizer warrant is a warrant for spies and it's all done in secret. Nobody's meant to know about it. And these are granted where there are state secrets at stake and there is to be an investigation by the security services into somebody and it's got to be agreed by a FISA court. And this was granted and we now know that it was granted against one individual within the Trump campaign. And when they were recording this one individual, they recorded lots of other things within the Trump campaign because it was being overheard. And that's how things were being overheard when the Clinton campaign was being investigated for Chinese manipulation in the American presidential election. And it seems, it seems very odd that Louise Mensch was able to know these things that nobody outside of that Pfizer court could have known. Indeed, we've just seen the um, Republicans issue a damning report into that Pfizer warrant, and the Democrats have just hit back with the 10-page rebuttal in regards to that Pfizer warrant. That Pfizer warrant was, was extremely important. So how did Louise Mensch a British journalist 
know about that Pfizer warrant? How was she able to get the the G up on this alleged Russian collusion that was allegedly going on? But I don't believe for a second it was. And if people go back and look at what happened in the first year of the Bill Clinton presidency, and then go back and look at the first year of the Trump presidency, you will see that they are almost exactly the same when it comes to the alleged collusion. I think she had a deal with somebody within the FBI that they would do these things and they would do it exactly the way it had been done against Bill when he became president. And I think more journalists need to look into that. More journalists need to look into why Louise Mensch was involved in the way that she was, having sent the email that she'd sent to Louis uh, to Hillary Clinton. There's there's something very odd, and there is something that tells me that at the bottom of it is dirty politics. There is somebody calling in favours and there is somebody manipulating people at the FBI who went on to manipulate a Pfizer call and that has led on to an attempt to bring down the government of the United States of America in almost exact same languages that somebody tried to bring down the government of Bill Clinton in the first year that he was president. I genuinely recommend you go and read a book. The book is called Game of Thorns and there's another book called The Devil's Bargain. I recommend you go read both. Hillary Clinton is a dirty, dirty politician. She believed it was her right, indeed her duty, to become the next president of the United States and she didn't and she is using every dirty tactic she possibly can and indeed I think she'd set up a process where having won the presidency she would not only annihilate Trump by beating him in the election she would then go on to having charged with collusion with the Russians and she lost and she's used those same tactics in order to try and bring down the presidency. The fact is Trump had nothing to do with the Russians and she is simply trying her hardest to wreck his presidency on the scantest evidence that there is. If, if it were true, we almost certainly would have seen emails or contacts or videos of contact that would have happened by now and none of that's happened. There's been a few people have been charged with messing about in, in the periphery but nothing with Donald Trump at the centre of it and nothing with his campaign at the centre of it. And it stinks. It stinks to high heaven. And it stinks of Hillary Clinton. And I think in 100 years time when people are looking back, they won't be looking at the Russian collusion in terms of Trump. They'll be looking at the Russian collusion in terms of what happened in the first year of Bill Clinton's presidency. Thank you, my name's Calvin Chapman.